Happy Juneteenth and welcome to the Daily Brief. As we celebrate Juneteenth, the day in 1865, when one of the last group of slaves were notified that they were free, today this country still struggles with atonement and acknowledgement of the tragic impact of slavery on African Americans in the United States. We now have a holiday to acknowledge the end of slavery, but still no reparations. So me and the Sentinel team decided to hit Crenshaw to talk to the community and find out what Juneteenth and reparations means to them. Check it out. Hey, do you know about Juneteenth? Of course. What does that mean to you? What is Juneteenth? Juneteenth. You want to start? Because you actually go to an HBCU. Yes. Alabama ain't even in the house, you know. What do you know about Juneteenth? I know it's a celebration for us black people. I've been in Lamarck Park celebrating it for about three years now. What do you know about Juneteenth? Juneteenth? Shoot, that's, that's us black people. That's for us um, celebrating our freedom. I think I forgot what part of Texas it was, but it was the part of Texas. They were they were the last people to find out that, that slavery was over. I think Juneteenth was uh, the day that the slaves actually knew that they were free. They were free before then, yeah. they but they didn't know, know it before then. Gotcha. It was kept from them. It means a lot of things. I think because we're so late in recognizing that it should even exist, it's really a way for people of color, mostly black. I don't want to leave anyone out because if you want to enjoy the day with us. Anyway, the point is it's to celebrate and to and know what we are about, know our history, get in touch with being with each other. Well, we was told it was far as what, the freedom of the slavery and things like that. You know, we was lied to about July 4th and the true date was June 19th. So, you know, it's good they gave us something. You know, we, we accept it, it's positive. So, hey, you know, and then finally they starting to recognize it. So, hey, we maybe get more because they talk about reparations too. So, I mean, throw my little hat in the you know, fire, give me a little 40 acres in the mule. Okay. I use it right now. I think there's so many things that are, should be tied into Juneteenth. It should be more than just festivals and parties. It should be a true learning experience like Black Solidarity Day used to be. Um, it should be, everything should be about learning about our history, not just slavery. Learn about Black Wall Street. Learn about all the other things that have made us a great people, that have given us strength, because a lot of the new generation just are not aware. Even, even real talk, a lot of black people didn't know what Juneteenth was up until recently. How do you feel about reparations? That's a great question. Um, I feel like we should have them. We know that never we know 40 acres of mural. We already know that. But give us black folks something. Our heirs. Give us college education. Give us some money. Give us something for in being enslaved in this country right here. And before you or I die, I hope that comes to pass. I feel like black people, we still deserve way more than we have now today, but I just don't feel like we're gonna get that ever. So I feel like we just need to like come together and like build our own. Just like how other people have their own, we need our own too. Yeah. So. Yeah. I go to Alabama a and University. <laughs> yes, I graduate next year. So. Okay. I love my school. I feel like everybody should go to HBCU. We learn so much about your culture. And it's just like a school with all black people. It's just amazing. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. You guys yeah. gotta go to an HBCU. Yep. All the young people watching, make sure your college is an HBCU. Can change your life That's forever. right. Let me tell you, the biggest issue is that they know that they, the government knows that, that they owe um, descendants of African Americans reparations, but they can't afford it. So, so they, they rather take the heat and not give it out. You know what I'm saying? Because they let it lap, they, they let the interest lapse too long. Okay. Right now, like I said, 40 acres in the mule, that's what it looked like then. Uh, now it's, it's probably, you know, a, a cash money, you know. Now how much? I don't think you can put a dollar amount on it because, you know, I don't want to prostitute my people like that. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, it's just, it, you, we can say freedom, but I think that's within because I'm not looking for somebody to say, hey, you free? No, I, yeah, I, you know. Yeah. I know what I am and I know what it is. So yeah. you're always gonna have that evil. Housing and people who were denied mortgages and the ability to borrow money and purchase because of redlining, okay. that. And then for um, students that are in a lot of debt with student loan debt, that they should have some relief. Yeah, okay. for that. Okay. I'm waiting for them to send me my check. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Immediately, like I would love for that to happen. 
I feel like if it's not even going to our generation, it should go to the generation before us because I felt like they dealt with a little bit more, but that would be amazing. And then one last question. If sure. you did receive reparation, what would you do with it? I'd probably just give it to my family, pretty much. I feel like um, they've done so much for me, so I just want to give them the love back in return. All right, well, there you have it. Happy Juneteenth. Back to you, Neil. Thanks, Roman. Good stuff. Well, there you have it. Voices of the community speaking for themselves, as we say here at the Sentinel. Now, for more Juneteenth news and headlines that are impacting the Black experience, visit lasentinel.net. And don't forget, The Daily Brief is available wherever podcasts can be found. I'm Neil Anderson. Happy Juneteenth. And now you have just been debriefed.